movie American Sniper is a box office smash, but it's also become a flashpoint for media controversy. Some journalists are questioning the character of the movie's hero, former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, who's now deceased, while others say those questions are out of bounds. Adam Riley has more. This week, NBC reporter Ayman Moyeldin accused the film American Sniper of making its protagonist, deceased Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, seem more sympathetic than he really was. When you juxtapose it with the real Chris Kyle and his racist tendencies towards Iraqis and Muslims as he was going on some of these, um, you know, killing sprees. It... That argument left Morning Joe host Joe Scarborough incredulous. Wait, but it's killing sprees. When Chris Kyle was going on killing sprees? Conservative media critics were aghast that Mo Yeldin questioned Kyle's character. But three years ago, Fox News host Bill O'Reilly challenged Kyle over his use of the term savages. What struck me in the book, though, is that you considered the people you were killing, the Iraqis you were killing, quote unquote, savages. The people I was killing, not just Iraqis. Why yes. did you consider the enemy savages? From their actions, the way they live day to day, as far as the violence they commit on American troops, the beheadings, the, the rape of innocent villagers. Are Sadly, Kyle isn't here to respond to the current criticism. He's got some tough stuff in that book. He has some very tough stuff. So we heard him in that last yeah. bite talking about his concern yeah. for innocent Iraqis. I want to just read, uh, mm -hmm. to the extent that I can, something from uh, Kyle's bio. I risked my life for my buddies. He writes, I never once fought for the Iraqis. I could give a flying expletive deleted about them, which is a different note than he was striking mm -hmm. there with Bill O'Reilly. So why I, was... I think there is a very interesting conversation to have here about what sort of mindset someone needs to be a prodigious killing machine, which is what Chris Kyle was and what he was supposed to be. And I think it's a little disappointing that when people start to make points like this, uh, you know, the Joe Scarboroughs of the world bristle and, and people have to backpedal. That being said, I'll say that the reporter who tried to broach this on Morning Joe, he didn't have the information he, he needed to back up his he claim didn't. because this is this is loaded incendiary yeah. stuff. So if you're going to talk about it, you need to have Has the information. Right. Yeah, he, he just said not. he said this. Yep. He said that he didn't do it. Yeah. I agree with Adam uh, that he obviously misspoke. That said, Chris Kyle, it's not that difficult to decide whether this is whether his character is something that should be subject for media deliberations. He's made himself a public figure. He's a very, you know, very prominent person now in the history of this most recent war in Iraq. And and people, the media, need to be able to cover that in an honest and nuanced way. Maybe not talking about killing sprees, where uh, where a more nuanced view of it is appropriate. But but these issues issues need to be on the table. I would also say that there are a lot of veterans who are coming back who have um, bodily injuries, who also have uh, stress disorders. And, and as they become reintegrated into uh, society and into culture, we have to be able to talk about the problems that they face and the effects on the people around them in a substantive way. You know, one of the things I thought was interesting about this was that Dana Lash's first reaction, the conservative commentator, was this is this generation's version of spitting on the veterans as they return home. And there has been some research done that has showed that the, the spitting on veterans almost never happened. There's, 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 it's one of these things that have become a myth. Mm -hmm. So now we're dealing with something mythical in this case as well. I think one of the things that makes this really difficult is that Chris Kyle is not here. He could be taking part in this debate, in this conversation, and... He was murdered at some gun range, yeah. Yeah. got by some... Another veteran. Another veteran who yeah. was trying and, to help. Yeah. And, and I mean, that just makes the whole thing that yeah. much more difficult. We could have that conversation. But he was sort of lionized then, and a lot of this stuff has come out in more detail since. You know, he was he was an active participant in his own myth making yeah. while he was alive. <laughs> um, and he he bragged, for example, to friends that he went to during Hurricane Katrina and he claimed had sniped thirty looters, <laughs> killing them. During there's no evidence of this. There doesn't seem to be any factual basis for that. Then there's always been myth around him. I think that this sort of a subject matter is particularly sensitive any time after a nation has either lost or not had the result they were seeking in a war. You can go back in history. Vietnam is a great example. Just as you said, there was more evidence of, of pro-war protesters spitting on anti-war protesters than, than returning sol uh, soldiers at the no. airport getting that sort of a treatment. But, but the and there's, al there's always this st statement when you have an environment where people in the media 
don't fight in wars anymore. Less than 1% of America served in Iraq or Afghanistan. They feel a tendency to not want to go out on a limb and criticize yeah. them, and that's what part of the blowback yeah, Exactly. About. I was going to say that, that, that this notion that you can't be critical of any individual. It's one thing to be critical of a war. Everybody does that. But you should be able to be critical of an individual's actions as well. And it's not, not every uh, veteran is a hero. Right. There was a really good uh, piece in The Atlantic recently making the exact point that Josh just made by Jim Fallow saying essentially we have come to the point where we over-venerate people in the military because so few of us have direct yeah. experience of it.